and the determination of the city of West Berlin. Hey there, this is Zimri Mayfield, your highness with the flyness. Let's say that you have just a simple image like this, or maybe yours is really more complicated, and you want to figure out a way to add some texture, add some gradient, maybe add a texture gradient. And I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. I saw in Behance a project that looks like this. Super cool use of a gradient texture. This comes from Brett King, who's a designer out of Helsinki. Okay, so let's get into it. Go back to Illustrator. Let's say that we're gonna start with the sun first. Basically, the premise of this is that we're gonna put one shape on top of itself, and the shape that's on top will have nothing but the gradient texture. So to do that, what we need to do is copy this circle, Control C, paste it on top of itself, Control F. Now we've got two on top of each other. If you don't believe me, check this out. Boo! Solved. Okay, then the top one, what we're gonna do first is add the gradient. So click the little gradient button to the left here, and yours probably won't look like this because my uh, white thing is set to 0% opacity. Yours will probably look like this. So navigate to your gradient panel on the right here, and you can actually change the gradient if you, pre if you select the gradient and press G, and then click and drag you can change things. So if you go super far, the circle is just going to get the middle and it's kind of going to be the same grayish. If you go super short, it's going to be high contrast. So for this, what I'm going to kind of go with is, actually it's a circle, so I'm going to change the type to radial. Now I've got kind of a cooler shadow effect going on that's more appropriate for a sun. And let's see. I'm just gonna toy around with it till I get something cool. I think this is awesome possum. So once you've got where you want the darkness to be, then what I like to do is go to the white one, ugh, ugh. click on the white one and put its opacity to zero. Press enter and you can see the color is shining through now. Okay, so what we're gonna do after we've got our gradient in place, we're just gonna add the texture to it. To do that, we'll go effect, texture, grain. And then this super old interface shows up. This is like some UI from Adobe CS3, man. This is, they need to update this. Okay, so then we have a couple options on the right. I like this because the options are super simple, nothing overwhelming. Um, and then we can change the grain type. Sprinkles is pretty good, but I like stippled. Stippled's my personal fave. And if we add up the intensity, you can tell the dark gets darker, something like this. And the contrast we'll add it in. So depending on how dramatic you want your piece to be, just fiddle around with these. I don't want it to be that much. So this is good with me. I'm gonna press OK. And then we can see this and we're like, whoa, what just happened? Although it's kinda cool like that. You could make a Kanye West album cover if you want something like that. But instead, we're gonna change the opacity to about mm, 20%. And now all of a sudden we've got a super cool textured gradient. And once all the elements are done that way, you can see how it really comes together. So let's repeat the process. Repetition makes perfection. Dang, it didn't even rhyme. Okay, so first off, we're going to copy this because we need two on top of each other. Press Control C, paste it on top, Control F. Now we've got two triangles. We'll select the top one. Second step is to add the gradient. Click the gradient button and it's still on radial. I want it to be on linear. And I'll press G so I can kind of edit how I want it. And remember that you can use, swivel this around so you can have like, oh, more of a contrast, more of a change. I'm gonna go something like this. And we'll go effect, texture, grain. If you want the same setting as you had on the, the sun, then just hit okay again. But I'm gonna make it a little bit more contrasty, change down the intensity. Okay, and then again, make it 20%. And then on your project, of course, you can change around with 30%. And after you've added the grain, it's okay, because if you still wanna change where things are, you can still move this. Kinda, it kinda edits things. And then you can go back in here if you think the, the bottom's too dark, just go back in and change that to say 60%. So it's highly editable. All right, let's just do the final background and I'm going to 
Remember, first step is to copy and paste it on top of itself. Control C, Control F. We've got two on top of each other. Now I'm going to steal the gradient that we used on the sun. Just press I to color drop, and then click on that gradient. So you can see how our background has that gradient now. And we'll go Effect, Texture, Grain. Can't complain in my brain. These rhymes to kill, and then I got time to kill. We'll just change the contrast, make the bills. Press OK. And our opacity is kind of strong on that one, so I'm just going to take it down to... Uh, I'm just going to take it down to about 10%. Something like that. And we have an interesting gradient effect. Let's call this... Uh, I'm going to write some text. Seven years down. Something like that. Look at that. Look at that album cover. So legit. Too legit to quit. Anyways, uh, let's put this on top. Move that to the top so it gets our text. That's how you can add some cool gradient and how you can adjust it after you've made it. And if you want to start making some cooler things, just keep playing with it. Here's an illustration I was working on earlier. And to show you, this is before any of the gradient work. And then this is after the gradient work. It really brings it to that next, uh, next level. It makes it much more kind of professional looking. More of that cool look rather than this hey, this illustration's not finished yet. Okay, if you found that useful, and by far, this is the most simple way I've figured out how to do it without taking too much time to get a similar effect. Of course, there's other ways to do it, and you find, if you find some way better, please leave a comment saying, hey, this is a better way to do it. Um, but of course, if this, helped at a, if this helped out at all, make sure to hit the, the, the hand with the thumb that goes up. That's the like, <laughs> that's the like button, I know you know. <laughs> Yeah, smash it. All right, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, then keep being awesome. Keep being awesome. Make every day brighter than yesterday. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye. With the vitality. Something. And the force. And the hope. It doesn't hope, have to be good. And the